a typical definition of business analytics is study of business data using statistical techniques and programming for creating decision supports and insight for achieving business goals. This definition has almost all the thing. What, what we are trying to study, we are trying to study business data, not any other data. And how we are trying to use that data, we are trying to use that data using statistical techniques and programming. Right? So what we are using using business data, not the entire data, for the business analytics only. Not I'm not talking about data sciences, I'm not talking about uh, you know uh, big data uses, but I'm talking about from the perspective of business analytics only. Right? In in this business analytics, we are studying business data only, and we are making use of business data from the statistical technique and programming that we have available in the various analytical tool, tool like R, like SES or SPSS or STATA, right? And why we are doing it? We are doing it to create decision supports and to get insight. And what it will do, it will actually, you know, help business to achieve their goals. It will help their marketing team to channelize their effort on the marketing, right? So various, various use cases can be come out from the data that you are analyzing, based on the data that you are analyzing. So this is the typical definition of business analytics. Now, how who creates it and how creates it's we who created it. It's the data analytics guy who creates it, right? So business analytics solution typically are using statistical and quantitative quantitative analysis, and it's been created by the people like the skill set they have uh, for uh, programming, for statistical uh, knowledge, and the business knowledge. So these are the three basic things that you need to have to become a good business analytics guy. You need to have the knowledge of mathematical or statistical concepts. You need to have the knowledge of programming and coding, but not, you know, the, these tools R and the GUI, those are available in R. They are very sophisticated. So even if you are not from a very much strong technical background, but you know programming a bit, then you have the GUI and other things through which you can do your entire task without writing a line of code also. So these things have been, have been very much sophisticated now and as I was saying, the requirement is to become a good business analytics guy, you need to have good mathematical and statistical concept knowledge, you need to have the knowledge of programming and coding and you need to have the domain knowledge. Like if somebody who is working in banking domain and somebody who is working in energy utility, somebody is working in insurance and is creating insight from the data which is available for that particular domain, he need to have the knowledge of that domain because you cannot do if, if you don't have the knowledge of the domain and you're doing analytics, it is like machine. It is like machine learning. So if you will skip the business part from the total business analytics, it will be it will be machine learning. It is like something which machine is doing. So maybe if I am calculating the calculating the prices of a house and I am seeing that the pollution and my machine is saying the pollution is not an important factor with, with some parameter value. My machine is saying that pollution is not an not an important factor. It does not mean I will not include pollution in my calculation in the calculation of the pricing of a house. It is an important factor. But if if you are doing it with a machine learning technique, it may be it may not be an important factor. But ultimately, for business analytics to calculate the pricing of a house in a society, pollution is an important factor. So even if it has a low weightage, business analytics guy will try to implement it in the in the model.